Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here, welcome you back to more Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland, okay? In the last episode, I believe we... Oh yeah, yeah, we finished raising runes up 100%, except for the boss, okay? So we gotta fight the boss of level 2, raising runes, okay? So I can't wait to see what the boss is. Actually, no, I've already seen it. Um, <clears throat> okay, I was gonna try and pull a fast one there, but... To be honest, this is actually my third take of this episode. Yeah, I'm serious, okay? This is my third take. And, uh, it's kinda- it's kind of a long story as to why this episode did not go up on, um, two days ago. And today's- it's, uh, 9.43 in the morning right now on January 19, 2012. I think it's Thursday. Oh, crap, I need to get Billy, duh. Um, so here's what happened. On Tuesday- I think it was yeah Tuesday I was going to have two guest commentators on this episode okay so we were both chatting on Skype and uh, the two get oh here it is the boss so yeah this is M Mr. Dewar I'm sorry you guys couldn't get my original reaction to this boss but yeah unfortunately things didn't go so well but anyways, the two guest commentators are going to be Ultra 64 Pan 1 and Zack Attack 64, who, um, you know, Ultra is a friend of mine, he goes to school with me, and, uh, you know, a friend of mine that I know in real life who goes to school with me, and, uh, Zack is someone who I, I met through YouTube, and we've been chatting on Skype for, like, a few weeks by now, yeah, like a few weeks, or so. And, uh, oh, and also, just like, um, when you're fighting Wispy Woods, this guy gets, increases in size and gets more, gets more powerful halfway through the boss fight, and I just got hit. Ah! Oh my god, that was lucky. <clears throat> and it, also, in the original take of this episode, where I had them guest commentating, it took me two attempts to beat this boss. The first time I was trying to use the, uh, uh I forgot what whip ability I was using. I think it was Whip, I don't know, it, it might have been Whip that I was using, but anyways, there we go. We just beat Mr. Duder, and now we're going to get a cutscene. So yeah, um, the first take, for the most part, it went okay, but after we played it back, the commentary sounded god-awful. You know, the, well, actually, I don't think it was mainly the talking itself, but it was basically just how the commentary sounded. It just sounded really, really awful. Like, um, Zach's microphone kept on going in and out, you know, how it's, so it was like really hard to hear most of the words he was saying. And also my, my, my microphone recorded in very low quality, so, so yeah, my microphone sounded like crap and Zach's uh, microphone kept on going in and out. And, you know, Ultra's microphone was just fine, but, yeah. It just, um... Oh. You did it, Kirby! My Star Cutter has its right wing back in place. Once we find all the parts on this, and this baby can fly again, I'll take you on a trip to visit my home world. I didn't even know babies can fly, though. I come from a distant land. It lies at the end of an interdimensional tunnel connected to your planet. It's really far away, but the lore is a beast. It can get us there in no time. I do hope you'll take me up on my generous offer. Okay, so I'm guessing after we... So we're actually going to get to visit his homeworld after we... Um, after, after we complete the ship, which which will be... Oh yeah, also we got enough energy spheres for that. I think I already up unlocked this in a previous epi episode, though. But, okay, I also already unlocked this, too. So, yeah, um... Still gotta finish the story, okay? So, after we recorded the first take, I still... Still win. Okay, so the commentary sounds awful, okay? And it's not really that big of a deal. But... <clears throat> but then when I tried to edit on Pinkle Studio... Um, the episode was 26 minutes, by the way. Only 21 minutes of the commentary went in. For some reason, the the other five minutes of it just cut out, and there's an, there's a new world. It's called the Onion Ocean. Yeah, I thought you should see my initial reaction to the to the world being named Onion Ocean. But anyways, next thing you gotta do is enter the enter the world and do the first stage. 
So yeah, um, since Pinnacle Studio is glitching up, I decided to try and send it to Zack. But unfortunately, that didn't end up working out too well either. So I just decided to try post commenting over the episode. I did that. It sounded awful. And also, once I got 21 minutes into the video, I suddenly just ran out of words to say. So I just said, screw this, okay? Then next thing I tried was re-recording the episode and just going back to the stages that I did previously. Like, you know, redoing the boss and, and just going back to the stage, which I'm about to do now. But, unfortunately, that didn't go so well either, okay? Because, um, the commentary just sounded... The commentary, not only... Well, actually, no, the quality was just fine. But this time, I just... I was so depressed and frustrated that I had to redo the episode, so I was, like, complaining about it the entire time. So, finally, my... My final decision was to, um... <clears throat> Delete the DLP file and just redo the entire game up to until I got up to the point where the LP was, and here I am now. So basically, that's the story right there. Okay, so now we can get back to the game. So I'm really sorry, but yeah, that's pretty much why the episode didn't go up on. I was actually going to upload the second attempt that night, but it just, just with all the complaining I did, the, the episode just wasn't worth watching. So I just kind of gave up halfway through the upload. Not only that, but Ultra kind of gave me somewhat, some kind of a lecture, lecture to, as to why I shouldn't upload it, so... Yeah, I just stopped the episode, episode upload part way through and then I just decided, you know what, I'll just try this again sometime. <clears throat> and so yesterday I spent the, I spent most of the day, you know, replaying the file up to this point, so don't worry, I didn't, I didn't spoil anything else for myself. So, you guys didn't miss anything at all, okay, so... But here we are, back with the file restored, and we're ready to continue on. Okay, so we got a new ability here that we haven't seen in this game yet, and this is Ice, okay? First thing you should know about it is just like in the previous Kirby games, it, um, Kirby will do, whenever you run, Kirby will kind of, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, he'll skate like he's on ice, so, and you can also do this to get rid of these stupid, these annoying, uh, fire blocks. Which will allow us to get this one up down here. And, uh, oh yeah, also another thing I really liked about the ice move is, um, this. Whenever you go, whenever you're, um, descending, you can actually do that and it'll freeze all the enemies in contact. And also, not only that, but another thing I really liked about the ice ability, and thank god I didn't lose it there. But yeah, another thing that I liked about it was the, um... Was when you when you froze the enemies, you could just kick them, and then they'll smash into other enemies on their way. Also brought brought back from uh, Kirby Superstars, these stupid coconuts that drop down when you get near them. Not only that, but they got these giant coconuts now. We didn't have giant coconuts in the Kirby Superstar games, but whatever. I'm probably gonna record two episodes and upload upload both of them just to make up for Tuesday. So. There, this LP will be back in progress, uh, back in, back where it was before, before we had the problems on Tuesday. <coughs> so sorry, my um, my voice isn't all that great because I just I just got about less than an hour ago, so you know I'm just gonna sound a little bit tired, you know. Actually, not really. I don't. I wouldn't like to say you know tired, just kind of um. I mean, you know how to describe it, okay? I'm just gonna say that, you know, I might sound a little tired, but I'm not really tired. Just, it, it's just that I, I just woke up less than an hour ago. And I wanted to get this episode over with so I could, uh, move on to the next episode. Actually, I might I might just, um, take a break after this and then record the, the next episode later. <laughs> and in here, we kind of have somewhat of a secret, but it doesn't have an energy spear in it, so... Oh, and by the way... Um, we, believe it or not, we haven't even passed the first energy sphere yet. I'm dead serious, we haven't, okay? So, hopefully that gives you some kind of an indica indication how long this level is. Because it is pretty much, it, the, le the stages are going to get really long from now on, so get used to that. Well, actually, I'm not sure about from now on. I don't know if this is just a one-time thing, with this stage being really long. Also, another thing I really, 
that I thought was really funny is whenever Kirby's above, floating above water, he, he pulls out this floaty thing. I thought that was really funny. <coughs> but unfortunately, since this is the third take, you're not going to see any first reactions in this episode, unfortunately. Which is, yeah, which I, which gave me a really good reason to get really frustrated when I, in my second take of this episode, but still, it was just, it was just so bad that it wasn't even worth uploading it. I'm glad I caught myself on that when I was, when I was uploading it, because I'm telling you, it was just, I'm pretty sure people would have been disappointed to see the episode like that, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, yeah, watch out for these. These are really annoying. Oh my god, did this one respawn? Oh crap, it did. At least now we learned something in this episode. We learned that, that uh, coconuts respawn after they go off screen. So yeah, it's good to know that, at least. Okay, here we go. Once again, we still haven't gotten the first energy sphere yet. And we I don't think we've actually missed it yet. Believe it or not. With how long the stage is, I'm not surprised at all. But this is pretty much all we did in the pre in the original take of this episode. So since it's uh, another take, it's probably going to be you know not as long as that first episode as that original take was. So that's the good thing out of it. And uh, so yeah, this is where the first energy sphere is going to be right here. Is after you hit this uh, this uh, bomb block or whatever it's called, it'll make this door appear, and inside here is, the, is our first energy sphere of the stage. I kid you not. So grab this key, and you want to hurry the hell up once you press these two switches. Hurry. Go as fast as you can here. Oh, no, 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 oh, I died. Crap. Gotta redo that over again. Okay, this time, let's do it. There we go. And there we have it, our first energy sphere. On this very long stage to be honest. Well, in case you haven't noticed yet, this is the water world of the game. But I'm pretty sure it's already obvious now. Way to announce it halfway through the stage, MCG. Alright, here we go. I'm going to watch out for that giant coconut and avoid this enemy at the same time. So yeah, if you guys thought that I was stopping the LP just because I was unable to upload on Tuesday, think again, because there's no way in hell I'm going to stop this Let's Play since I've gotten this far. I'm already in the third world and you know, already things are starting to go wrong, but I'm not going to let those, you know, get in the way of the LP. I'm still, I'm still very much having fun with it, so I'm not going to stop it just yet. I'm surprised you can't stop the fire there just by using your ice, but that's okay. Well, actually, I think we're supposed to get another Ultra Billy here, so maybe that might um, change things a bit. Yep, here it is. The Ultra Ice Ability. Snowball. Yes, I love this one. Before we go forward, which I did in the original take of this episode, let's go backwards to get these things behind us. It's basically, you turn into a giant snowball, and then you shake the Wiimote, and then... You massive destruction. Okay, so all I miss, all I would miss is just some stars, so I guess it really wasn't worth it to do that. I can do it again? Oh my god. I forgot the enemies respawn as well. Not just, it's not just, you know, those, um, whatever those things are called that, that respawn. Coconuts, yeah. Well, actually, in this case, it's a good thing that the, that the Super Bowl ability you know, responds like that, it's pretty cool. As you can see, we're doing really massive destruction here just with this, with this uh, Ultra ability. That's what I love about the Ultra abilities in this game, they do massive destruction. And it brings a whole lot of new fun in this game. Oh god, don't die, thank you. Yeah, that, that, that death right there was just so stupid. That, that death we had when we got that first energy sphere, that was that was probably like the stupidest death I've ever seen in this game. Of course, to say that now, then some, then, a stu then an even stupider death is going to happen now that I just said it. 
sometime. Okay, moving on. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. At least it's not as bad as the second take, I'm telling you. Trying to destroy the rest of this, um... Yeah, there we go. Because if I didn't destroy that other part of the sandcastle, I wouldn't have been able to take on this, um... This next part, which is our... Our first, you know, Dark Matter mini-stage of the... Of the... <coughs> of the world, sorry. And here we go. Another thing I learned about the... Learned about these things is that you can't bring your super abilities in here. I call... I keep calling them ultra abilities, but I think they're really called super abilities. But I think Ultra is more fitting, to be honest. Okay, so in this one, you have to go down as fast as you can. And uh, this actually reminds me of a, of a stage in uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, where he had to... Um, I think it was called the Cozy... Cozy Glove Cat... Cozy... Cozy Glove Cabin, yeah. I think that's what it's called. It's actually... It, it falls a, a similar principle to this uh, mini-stage right here. At least in my own perspective, it's a reference to Kirby's Epic Yarn, but you can believe whatever you want to. Oh my god, that was close. Technically, those spikes are going right through me, so I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there. Oh my god. Oh man, don't die. Okay, here we go. Um... So how's everybody doing? Um, I've actually, to be honest, I've been out of school for the past three days now. So you see, today's Thursday, right? And I was supposed to go back to school on Tuesday. Well, guess what? We can't now because of all this freaking snow. Okay? Yeah, we we've been having a lot of snow since ever since this weekend. It's just been snowing and snowing and snowing like like hell, you know. <coughs> I'm gonna grab the sword belly because I'm pretty sure if I use the tornado belly, it'd be really cheap. And here you are, the last two energy spheres level is the Spear Doomer, of course. And, uh, I, don't, I can't really remember any new tricks this guy has. I can't, to be honest. <clears throat> I think he's the same variation as he was on um, the previous few times. So I, I don't think he gets any more powerful than he is now, so that's good. Well, kind of good. I don't. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god, of course I lose my sword. That's what I hate about water levels, is if the if your ability drops into water, it's gone for good, you can't get it. I always hate that so much. Okay, so now we gotta depend on these fireballs he's dropping on us. Kill him. <coughs> That's what I hate about recording in the mornings like this, my voice is a little cracky. What's the word? Yeah, actually, I think bracky is the right word, but still, it sounds really stupid. But anyways, there we go, we did it. 3-1 energy spheres complete! There we go. We are now ready to exit this stage, and then end off the episode there, because... We pretty much got the same exact progress we got done in the, in the original take of this episode, so that's good. So now we are ready to exit the stage, and there we go. Oh, here we go with the school game again. Hopefully, I can go for the one. Oh man, I keep getting up to four. I don't know how to how to get higher than that. Well, I still got one up anyways, cause I cause I had just had just enough stars. Okay, so. 30 energy spheres you, you collected have unlocked the door to scope shot sub game. And there we go. And I will show that off along with the other sub game at the end of this project, okay? So, um, next time on Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we will, pro we will do stage 2 and possibly stage 3. I don't know. Something tells me this stage is going to be even longer than stage 1, so chances are we might only be doing just this stage in the next episode, but who knows. 
Last time I saw a stage with four energy spheres and actually didn't take that long, but <clears throat> then again, stage one had three energy spheres, so that might change, so. But we'll just have to find out in the next episode. So thank you for watching episode seven of Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And uh, despite the episode being episode seven, we haven't had a lot of, a lot of luck in this episode. I had to record it three times, so. But thankfully, this one is just good enough to be uploaded on YouTube. So thank you for watching episode seven of Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I'm Multiclass Gamer signing out. See you guys in episode eight. Bye.